afternoon. Hi, I'm Joe Conjo, historian, author of the book Mambo Diablo with Tito Puente. And this is very important, this celebration of Machito, the man that I grew up with uh, in El Barrio, and the music, the palladium, and so forth. Everybody should be aware this is part of our culture, you know, and you're going to enjoy it tonight. Good evening. Buenas noches. Thank you so much for coming. I'm John Michael, we direct the Host School Center for the Arts and Culture, and welcome to the penultimate event of Machito and the Afro Cubans at 80, with the 80th anniversary concert of the Machito Orchestra under the direction of Mario Rio. It's been a fun three days, lots of music and stories and information on Machito, Mario Bauza, and Graciela. And after three days, we realized we we're just beginning to scratch the surface of their impact on music over the last 80 years. We've had some great events, including concerts from the Carlos Enriquez Ensemble, and Bobby Sanabria's Ascension. And I call this the penultimate event because we have a final event after the concert, a Mambo dance party because many of you have been waiting for a long time to dance. And if you don't have tickets, we still have a few, so we hope you'll join us on the third floor. It's going to be a great way to end a very magical weekend. I'd like to recognize some people. First, uh, I think we're honored to have some Rio member families here, Rio family members. Can you stand? Rio family, let's have some lights. Okay, thank you. camaraderie of the Three Kings. I think Tito Rodriguez Jr. is here. Please stand. <laughs> Hostos Center for the Arts and Culture is an integral part of Hostos Community College of the City University of New York, now officially celebrating its 51st year. And we're delighted to have some college leadership here. Our Deputy the President, Dolly Martinez, please stand. Our Vice President for Institutional Advancement, and my boss, Anna Martina Orizondo, please stand. <laughs> we want to recognize the Hostos Community College Foundation Cultural Affairs Committee members, Elba Cabrera, Bill Aguado, Dolores Batista is here, Armin Vega Rivera, and Rafael Rivera. Thank you for your support of this project. I'd like to thank our sponsors, Eugenio Maria de Hostos Community College Foundation, the National Endowment for the Arts, the City of New York Department of Cultural Affairs, New York State Council on the Arts, the New York State Office of Parks, Recreation, and Historic Preservation, the Howard Gilman Foundation, Bronx Care Health System, Bob Sancho, thank you. Yeah, couldn't be here, but let's give him a clap. New York City Council Member Rafael Salamanca Jr. And our special friend, New York State Assemblyman Jose Rivera. Let me, let me steal some time here. <clears throat> My pianist, Gilberto Colon Jr. And <laughs> bassist. Uh, you know, when we talk about family tradition, uh, that's very important. And I, I can tell you that before Mario Bauza, before Graciela, uh, when my father went to make his very first band in 1939, uh, just like all guys do now, you pirate out of the band you're in, the guys that you really want, because they're the good ones. So then he knew he needed uh, a multi-instrumentalist and a ranger. So then he sought the services of uh, Mr. Jose 
Dean Madera Sr. And it's very nice for me to have tonight on our 80th anniversary my bass player, Mr. Geraldo Jerry Madera. Um, staying true to tradition, um, besides saving my life, that's a long story, I won't go into that. Um, we had an incredible, incredible bongocero in our orchestra for I believe it was 19 years who recorded all of the premier albums and um, it's a pleasure to have his son here with me tonight, Mr. Luis Manuel. Machito Orchestra to uh, play with some super dynamite congueros, you know. Um, but when I knew that I needed somebody who was gonna, as we say, amarral uh, el ritmo, you know, who would be that centerpiece uh, for us to work around. I knew that I needed not only a guy who you know, was a great soloist and everything like that, that's the least of my worries, but somebody who's an incredible timekeeper, uh, a solid player. So I sought out no other than Mr. Eddie Montana. Machito is known for its saxophone section. Uh, people always talk about that. So I like to surround myself with not only veteran players, you know, people with great experience and knowledge, but that are also great soloists as well. So when I was looking for a baritone, I said to myself, you know what? I need me a kick butt baritone player. And uh, again, I found Miss Carmen Laboy. Next to her is a gentleman that I mentioned earlier. He's been with me 42 years. When we started, we were 20 years old. Um, Daddy loved him. Me too. Mr. Mark Friedman. Uh, then I was seeking another alto who would not only be a great section player, but also a great soloist, musician, all-around person, uh, Mr. Al Acosta. And uh, rounding out my saxophone section, I asked Ms. Laboy, so listen, you know what? I need a tenor sax uh, solos section. She told me, you know what? I got the guy for you. Young guy, just coming from Puerto Rico. Uh, Daddy always said the best interpreters of Cuban music are Puerto Rican. <laughs> Very true, trust me. Um, and Daddy always used to say he was Puerto Rican by friction because of my mother. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, he came in, did a great job, and he's been in Machito Orchestra in and out for quite a bit of years now, Mr. Jorge Castro. In, in my trumpet section, it's a really dynamite section, f full of experience, veteran players who are not only great section players but great soloists as well 
and this gentleman has been with me just about 20 years, would you say? How many? Yeah, a long time. Anyway, um, great player, Mr. John Carlson. Somebody call my name? No, it's okay. Yeah, all right. Uh, next to him, my lead trumpet player tonight, Mr. Larry Moses. Uh, and then next to him, there's always a new guy in the band, you know, and he's a first timer, but uh, he's done a tremendous job tonight. Mr. Ken Harbus. Rounding out my trumpet section, a super player, dear friend, a great musician all around, Mr. Mike Mossman. <laughs> all right. Oh, I almost forgot. Well, you always leave the young guys and the cute guys for the end, you know. Uh, I needed a corista for tonight. I needed somebody for the coro. So I said, you know what? I, I need a young voice, you know, like a high tenor to blend with what the heck is going on. So then I spoke to Eddie. I told him, listen, would your son be available to come in and work with me tonight? And he tells me, yeah, man. Well, I'll tell him right now. So then I'm, I'm very pleased to have with me on coro tonight. Uh, Mr. Jeremy Montalvo. Now that we're in the Puerto Rican tradition, um, we're going to play something for Puerto Rico. Um, it's not a bomba or a plena. And I don't have a cuatro hanging around, you know. But uh, we got something that's called uh, 341. <laughs> Actually, the title is Que Bonito es Puerto Rico. Oh. Siempre 